Japan prepares for war with China and Russia and transforms civilian airports into military assets. Japan is set to upgrade five airports and 11 seaports, repurposing them for use by its defense forces and Coast Guard during military emergencies, Kyodo News reported. Officials plan to green light the modernization efforts soon with projects kicking off in April. The initial budget is pegged at about 35 billion yen or $230 million. These upgrades include lengthening runways and expanding aprons at airports to accommodate fighter jets and transport planes, while ports will be modified to dock destroyers and sizable military vessels. The five airports earmarked for modernization are located in the prefectures of Fukuoka, Nagasaki, Miyazaki and Okinawa, the latter being a central hub for US military bases in Japan. Of the designated ports, five are in Hokkaido, which houses numerous self-defense forces units. The remaining are spread across Kagawa and Kochi in Shikoku, and one each in Fukuoka and Okinawa. This initiative is part of Japan's broader strategy to bolster the defense of its southwestern islands, especially given the ongoing tensions surrounding the Senkaku Islands. These uninhabited islets, controlled by Tokyo but claimed by China, have been a focal point of regional discord. Tokyo is seriously concerned about closer military cooperation between China and Russia in terms of security, both for Japan and the entire region. Japan's chief cabinet secretary, Yoshimasa Hayashi, stated earlier in March. He said that Tokyo was gravely concerned about closer military cooperation between China and Russia in light of security for Japan as well as for the region. Our country intends to keep a close eye on development in Sino-Russian relations, Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshimasa Hayashi told. Ukraine announced new landings of Ukrainian military personnel in Crimea. The head of the main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Kirill Budinov, has announced new operations by the Ukrainian military in the temporarily occupied Crimea. In response to the journalist's question about whether there are any new landings being prepared in Crimea, Budinov replied affirmatively, yes, they are being prepared and they will happen. Soon it will be warm, so we will continue. Crimea will be returned, emphasized the head of the main directorate of intelligence. Budinov stated that Russian occupiers do not abandon plans to once again seize the Ukrainian Zeminyi island, regularly launching missile and bomb attacks. They regularly carry out missile and bomb strikes. There has been information several times and we have seen its confirmation about conducting a similar operation as we once did. Budanov said, however, according to him, it is impossible to do so. But they couldn't do it because knocking out the garrison from the island is already unrealistic, emphasized the head of the main directorate of intelligence. The main directorate of intelligence fighters conducted several ground operations in the temporarily occupied Crimea. For example, on August the 24th, 2023, reconnaissance troops managed to carry out a sortie near the settlement of Mayak on the Tarkankut Cape. A battle took place within the framework of the main Directorate of Intelligence special operation involving naval assets and aviation. In turn, Russian sources began to invent their own version of the so-called Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance groups allegedly destroyed. In reality, at least 30 occupiers were destroyed and four high-speed boats were damaged as part of the special operation. Furthermore, on October the 4th, Ukrainian special forces again landed in the occupied Crimea and inflicted a fiery defeat on the Russian occupiers. It is noted that a fierce battle took place as part of this operation, resulting in significant losses among Russian soldiers. Oh,